Today's lesson is going to be a lesson over finding the volume of a sphere. Okay, so first off, if we think about what is a sphere. Looking at the six pictures that I gave you, a soccer ball is an example of a sphere. Uh, the middle example looks like a sphere as if it's like a garden ornament. And obviously, we look in the bottom left corner, you see an example of the earth as a sphere as well. The green picture and then the red picture, those are example of a sphere, but broken into two. So each sphere, each half would be called a hemisphere. Now, trying to find the volume, what does volume, what does volume mean? Remember, volume is the amount inside of an object. Okay, so volume of a sphere is four thirds the product of pi and the cube of the radius r. In other words, if you look at the formula, volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. This volume is something you are definitely going to need to know and to remember. So let's take a look at our first example. Our first example, it simply says find the volume of a sphere, round to the nearest tenth. If you look at our picture, we have um, a label of 6 millimeters. Now if we remember this purple line, okay, that is going to be your radius. We have two things that we need to remember, a radius and a diameter. Radius is half of your diameter. So realistically, all I need to do is substitute that number into my formula. Remember, my formula is volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Volume equals 4 thirds pi. Your radius is what again? Your radius is 6. So I'm going to substitute 6 in for the R. Now I'm going to type this into my calculator. Remember, you're going to use the pi button. Pi is equal to 3.14 with a bunch of numbers that follow. Just use the pi button. When I type this into my calculator, 4 ABC3 pi parentheses 6 parentheses cube root or the caret key to the third, I'm going to get an answer. Volume is equal to 904. 0.8 millimeters cubed. Again, all I did is I took my radius of 6 millimeters and I substituted that into my R, my radius within my formula. Now let's look at example number two. Example number two, it says find the volume of the sphere, round to the nearest tenth. On this example, you should notice a really big difference. Okay, this is no longer the radius, but they are giving the length as the as the diameter. Okay, remember when I substitute it, I need the length of the radius. Remember the radius is half the diameter. So you have to think to yourself, what is half of 22? Half of 22 is 11. So my radius is going to be 11 centimeters. Again, I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on example one. I'm going to write down my formula. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. I'm going to substitute my number, whatever my value is for radius, into my r. So I have 4 thirds pi 11 to the third power. Again, using your calculator, you are going to type this exactly as it says on the screen. Volume equals 4 abc 3 pi parentheses 11, close your parentheses, caret key to the third power. When you type this in, you should get an answer of 5,575.3 centimeters cubed. Okay. All right, we have one last example. Now, this example is going to be a word problem. So let's read through um, the word problem. A spherical stone, so a sphere, in the courtyard of the National Museum of Costa Rica has a diameter of 8 feet. Find the volume of the spherical stone, round to the nearest tenth. Okay, as I read through this word problem, I noticed something that obviously I need a label. Diameter of 8 feet. So in my picture, the red line, this is 8 feet in length. Again, if I rethink back to my formula, volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, I need the radius. So stop and think. Diameter is half of your, your radius is half of your diameter. What is half of 8? Half of 8 
is 4. So your radius is going to be 4. Just like we did in the first two problems, we're going to go ahead and substitute that into my formula. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Volume equals 4 thirds pi. Your radius is 4 cubed. Again, using your calculator, you're going to type this into your calculator. 4 abc 3 pi parentheses. 4, parentheses, carrot key, 3. When I type this into my calculator, I'm going to get the answer of 268.1 cubic feet. Okay. Just as a, whoop, just kidding, um, this one, example number 4. Okay, just like I showed you in those pictures um, before, um, a hemisphere. Hemisphere is half of a sphere. Okay, so I've included the formula up here. Volume equals one half, and then in parentheses, four thirds pi r cubed. Okay, I'm multiplying it by a half, but remember you can always divide this by two. Okay, so looking at our picture, we have five centimeters. That is going to be our radius. You are simply going to substitute that into your radius. Substitute that value into your radius. So volume equals one half, four thirds pi. Your radius again is 5 raised to the third power. Type this into your calculator. 1 half parentheses 4 ABC 3 pi button parentheses 5 carrot key 3 close your parentheses. When I type this into my calculator I'm going to get, let me take the time real quick, type this into my calculator. Remember, it's super important that you just use pi, so that way everyone is getting the same answers. So when I type this into my calculator, I'm going to get 261.8 centimeters cubed. Okay. Now, the other thing we could have done, I'll show this in purple. We could have simply done the volume formula, 4 thirds pi and then 5 cubed and divided it by 2. Okay. And again, if you simply double check your answer, so 4 thirds times pi times 5, third, 5 to the third power, divide that answer by 2, you are still going to get the same answer of 261.8 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's do a quick recap of finding the volume of a sphere. Okay, volume of a sphere. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Formula for a hemisphere, remember, you're just taking the, the, the formula for a sphere and either timesing it by a half or dividing it by 2. Last but not least, you do have to remember the difference between a radius and the diameter. Radius is half of your diameter. And also, if you were noticing, I was labeling every single thing. Okay, so if it's feet, but remember it's going to be to the third power or cubed feet.